This is a first look inside the world's first humanoid robot assembly plant. It's a work in progress. Here, Agility Robotics is going to manufacture Digit, a teal and metal gray bot that walks like a bird, its knees bend backwards, and is designed to work at first anyway at warehouses, including at Amazon and GXO Logistics. The factory is on marshy former agricultural land on the outskirts of Salem, Oregon's capital, not a robotics hotspot. But it is up the road from Corvallis and Oregon State University, where Jonathan Hurst, a robotics professor, co-founded Agility. And of course, there is an Amazon warehouse nearby. Agility's first design was a monopod called Thumper. Later and more sophisticated bots have arms and a head unit for sensors, making them a little less creepy. At this facility, Agility simulates work its bots are already doing for clients, stacking tote bins at Amazon and placing bins on conveyor belts in the case of GXO. While I was watching, one digit tried to place a stack of bins on top of another but was off by a small margin so the new bins sat askew. Digit paused and watched for a few seconds as its software tried to figure out what to do and it gave up. Other times it was seamless. Digit's communication systems and four sensors live in its head unit. At first, Agility didn't put heads on the robots. The team started with the goal of building bots able to move in human spaces, not one that look like us. Digit doesn't have fingers, Agility's first digit model started with flat paddles capable of lifting totes, and they're adding other end-of-arm devices. The company hopes this building will be able to churn out 10,000 robots a year, but getting there will take a while. Engineers are still documenting assembly processes, figuring out what tools should go where, before they can start mass hiring technicians to assemble the bots. The first robot assembled here, one of Digit's new fourth version, will be completed sometime this month.